Want to hear a scary story? Last week, I lost something I didn't know I could lose. I was at a drive through waiting for food when the cashier comes back with my card. He tells me it's been declined. What? I just used it yesterday. Can you please try it again? He says he's already tried it three times and that my account is closed. What? I pull out some cash pay and drive away confused. When I get home, there's another surprise. One of my student loans was declined and my tax return said it couldn't be processed. Something about it already being filed. This is wrong. I go online to investigate. Wrong password? I know I typed the right one. Then I hear a knock at the door. It was the police. They had come to arrest me for failure to appear in court. They say I robbed some store and then didn't show up on my court date. But I've never been there. This didn't seem to matter as she ignored me and talked about my rights. I panicked and began to tell them everything that happened that day. The officer said I was probably a victim of identity theft, but I still had to go to the police station. After a while, I was cleared. It obviously wasn't me in that security video, but I had to know. How could someone steal my identity and why? The officer explained that identity theft is when someone uses your personal information to commit fraud. It can take many forms. Identity thieves can open loans, credit cards, and even utility and phone accounts in your name, and then not pay the bills. They can empty your bank accounts and use your social security number to do all kinds of things like collect your tax refund, use your medical insurance, or apply for government benefits. Identity thieves can even use your name to apply for jobs or worse, commit crimes. This can go undetected for months or even years. But how could someone get my personal information? I was always so careful, or so I thought. The officer told me losing a driver's license, paying for gas with a debit card, or even throwing away personal mail without shredding it are some ways thieves can get your personal information without you realizing it. She also mentioned easy to guess online passwords, using the same passwords for multiple websites and not changing them regularly. Oh, and that one time I asked my mom to text me my social security number when I was applying for a job. Oops. Apparently all a thief needs to commit fraud is your name, social security number, and birth date. It's super important to protect your information and monitor your accounts. The sooner you address the problem, the easier it is to resolve. Where do I start? The first step, filing a police report. Next, I called every company where fraud may have occurred. I asked the credit reporting agencies to place a fraud alert on my record and send me my credit report. Then I reported the identity theft to the Federal Trade Commission or FTC. It was simple. I did it online and got extra help from their site. Finally, I changed every online password to something unique and complicated and set reminders to change them. The police came to arrest me, but ended up helping me out. I'm grateful, but having my identity stolen has been awful. Resolving it will take months, even years. That's my scary story. I hope it helps you not have your own. But if you do, remember, there is help. <laughs>